Conversation of police body cams front and center at tonight's city council meeting here in Knoxville. Tonight, city leaders choosing to pass a resolution taking steps to explore the possibility of outfitting officers with cameras. Knoxville police officers are honest, dedicated, and hardworking public servants who strive to keep the community safe under increasingly difficult conditions. They have nothing to hide and welcome the use of body cams. Now, you just heard from Mark Taylor with the Fraternal Order of Police. Now, the subject of body cameras, well, it has been in the forefront for members of the community and city leaders for the last few weeks. All of this following a deadly officer-involved shooting last month along Merchant Drive. 33-year-old Shannara Feep was shot and killed after a physical altercation with Knoxville Police Officer Dylan Williams. Williams' attorney saying Feep took the officer's taser, Williams using his firearm and fatally shooting Feep. The officer's account, Feep was shot in the side, but a death certificate submitted to us by an attorney representing Feep's family says he was shot in the back. Now, community action sparked after that shooting. Members of the community demanding police accountability, also asking for police body cameras. Tonight, city leaders voting to pass a resolution to allow for exploring the cost of acquiring and maintaining body cameras for police officers who respond to 911 calls and investigate crimes. At the city council meeting, Mayor Rojero had a strong message defending the police department as a whole while also acknowledging it is not perfect. We have been committed to addressing every single neighborhood and creating um, equity and fairness and balance throughout our community. Have we achieved that? No. But we have been committed to it and will continue to work on that. So continue to challenge us. I think we should always be reminded that, that there are still inequities out there and that we make mistakes. But don't think we don't care and don't think we haven't been addressing it because we have. Now we should also note city and police officials say Friday they've ordered two body cameras for KPD to begin evaluating for officers use. We'll continue to follow the issue of body cameras and KPD as well as the investigation into that deadly shooting for you.